I wanted to do this quick update what had occurred just yesterday or uh, last night. So Paul Pelosi, the husband of Nancy Pelosi, uh, they had a home invasion last night where Paul Pelosi, the husband of Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, was assaulted with a hammer. He was beaten with a hammer. And I want to tell y'all what's actually happening here. So I, I could almost assure you that the assailant was actually after Nancy Pelosi. And the reason being is these are what the false Trump prophets are inciting. They're inciting violence against anybody and everybody because, I want to make this very clear, because Almost every one of these false proven false Trump prophets has given a Nancy Pelosi prophecy that she would not be around come midterms time. Now that we're in the midterms, we're officially in the midterms, they made very time specific prophecies that she would not be around. This is what I had done previous videos on, that these false Trump prophets, uh, and, and I want to point this out, they didn't say she would be killed by an attacker. They said she would be dead from cancer. They said that Nancy Pelosi, God was going to remove her, that she was going to die from cancer. Not from an attack, but this is what these false Trump prophets have incited among their followers. This is why they are so very dangerous because all of their their prophecies about Nancy Pelosi, especially Timothy Dixon, he gave numerous prophecies how Nancy Pelosi would be dead from cancer come midterms. And we're in midterms. And this is to prove yet again another failed false prophecy from Timothy Dixon, Robin Bullock, and many of these others, because they all did Nancy Pelosi prophecies, how she would not be around come midterm election times, and yet she's still here. She's still here. They'll probably do some kind of deranged prophecy that she is an actor, that this is some type of an actor. They'll probably falsely claim, do this propaganda that she is, uh, this is a body double of some sort, that perhaps she actually did die of cancer, but they're hiding it. This is what uh, Robin Bullock and Hank Kuhnerman likes to do the most. Those, those two proven false Trump prophets love to try to say that these are people's body doubles, when in fact it just goes to show they are proven false prophets, but also very important to note that this is the kind of violence that these people, they're, they're not godly men. These are not true prophets and godly men because they get their followers. They actually know that they have some extremist followers and incite violence within them. They stir up the waters, as I've stated in my previous videos. But understand that this is where the damage to the body of Christ comes from, people, because what they're going to do is be able to link this individual to the MAGA movement, and then they're going to turn around and link it to a Christian movement. Understand that. And this is how they will demonize, they will use this to demonize and put all Christians in a broad basket as a whole and say that all Christians are are violent extremists. Now understand that this is exactly the plan of Donald Trump, the Democrats, and all of these false prophets to, bro to paint every Christian with a broad brush as if we are a violent extremist when we are not. This is only a fall small group of radical extremist Christians. This is exactly what they did to Muslims. They, they took a small group of extremist Muslims and used that small group to paint all Muslims to make it out as if all Muslims are violent extremists, when they're not. If people would take the time to get to know some Muslim people, true, it's very true that they don't worship Jesus Christ 
they only see Jesus Christ as, as a prophet. But they're not violent. Most of them aren't violent. That's not godly. That's not godly at all. They don't stir violence and try to antagonize and, and stir up waters. This is what these people are doing. And it will paint all Christians in a bad light. This is why it's so important to silence them. Y'all be sure to stay in the Word. God bless.